even when my grandpa was farming up here in the 70s and 80s, they were organic. They just didn't have a word for it. So yeah, I have pictures of my grandparents and great grandparents pulling harvesters with horses in these same hills. They were growing it organic. It just wasn't called organic. <laughs> I'm Jake Loesch. I'm Ted Loesch. And we're in Artois, California in Northern California. And we're harvesting our organic hard red winter wheat. Well, normal day, I usually get up, feed the animals, check the sheep, get up here, usually right after sunup. Then we blow off the combines, grease them, lube them, check oil, do all the maintenance on the combines. Depends on the weather. Sometimes you get damp morning, you gotta wait till it's dry enough where it'll thrash out good. So sometimes you might not be able to start thrashing till nine or 10, but usually on hot weather, you can go seven or eight. Really hot weather, if it gets like 110 or so, we'll shut down during the heat just because of fire danger. So we just each run a harvester, then one person has to get off and go and load the bank out when it's full. And we usually don't stop for lunch. We just work straight through. Always in a hurry, it seems like. You get up, oh, I gotta get going. You run out the door and you don't even make a lunch. Sometimes you are too lazy to do that, so. That's just the way it's always been. <laughs> we do a summer follow program, which in March, April, depending on the weather and how wet and how dry it is. So we'll go through a first pass through. So a field that's just cattle feed and rangeland, we'll go out there and stubble disc and disc under all the green grass. We might turn around and disc it right again with a light disc or a cultivator, depending on what it was like. For instance, this year, we worked it up in about April, and then we got a rain in May that brought up more green grass, so I worked it up again. And now it's just a fallow field that we will plant in November. We might till it one more time if we get a rain in September or October, but usually middle of November is planting time. We usually wait for a rain and let the weeds grow and take a cultivator with sweeps and kill all the weeds and plant at the same time. That way you clean up the weed problem and you're planting into moisture, which makes it a lot better. So November's our plant time, and then again, depending on how the year goes, normally by the first week or second week of June, we can start harvest. And we also use disc, and that way you keep all the dry grass and stuff on top, which cuts down on erosion. If you keep some mulch on top, and it keeps the ground from eroding, so that helps with the erosion problem. There's not many people out here, not many people that do this kind of stuff anymore in the dry land wheat. It's kind of nice to do something that not everybody does. Yeah, uh, just enjoy the farming and taking care of the fields and really helping the environment by farming. 